Hello, it's Stephanie from The Quilter's Planner and I'm gonna show you how to quilt what I call refrigerator coil today. It's a great design, specifically good for borders. And you're just gonna gently move up and down. Before you start quilting, you need to think about how far apart you want your refrigerator coils to be. These are about a half inch apart. You can also decide if you want your coils to touch your top line or your bottom line. Now let's see, uh, that's about a half inch, so now let's bring it more like a quarter inch away and see what it looks like. There you go. Do you want them to touch the top and bottom? It's up to you, it's okay both ways. There's going up a little higher and touching. This is a great design to have a stitch regulator for because it allows you to change your speed as you come closer to hitting your seams. Now let's bring it even closer and that's gonna give it more of a matchstick quilting look, which is really what we're talking about here. I'm gonna also grab something that can be a great help to you when you're doing matchstick quilting or really tight refrigerator coil and that is a little ruler. So. You can use this even on a sit-down machine to your left to help you. And this just helps keep my line straight as I travel up and down. Now you can go about an eighth of an inch or even tighter depending on how patient you are. This design gives great contrast if you use it to separate two other designs. I want to show you one other thing that you can do with this. You can do this refrigerator coil at an angle. Let's pretend that this is my border here. I have go I've stitched little squares that are about two inches wide with a quarter of an inch border in between. That's going to stay my negative space so you can see my design better. And I'm going to do the refrigerator go coil at an angle. So here's what it's going to look like. Denser you go on this, the better it looks. This is not that dense, and I would probably go a little bit denser, but since that's what I started with, let's keep that same density, because when you're quilting, that's really the most important thing. I'm gonna take a step to the left just a little bit to kind of adjust here, and let's go this way now. There you go. That's your refrigerator coil and it can look really cool across an entire border.